Hi everybody, Alex the Player from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at the grid trend multiplier and we're going to look at what happens if you point this EA in the wrong direction and how you can make money even anticipating the wrong direction in the Forex market. Now we're going to give you show you an example where doing this resulted in a 99% success rate. So this should be quite interesting if you have not seen this concept before. So let's look at how this EA works. Essentially the EA works on a grid system and on your screen you can see a chart that has a grid system placed over it. In other words it's basically just price levels separated by the same distance all the time. In this case, we're assuming those price levels to be roughly 100 pips. Then when starting to trade, the trader can decide whether to, to trade in a buy direction or in a sell direction, or you could actually even trade in both ways. In this example, we're going to say that the trader's made up his mind to trade in a sell direction. And on the chart, you can see a start point. So what then happens is that every time the price touches a grid level and there is no other transaction at, open at that level, it will open a sell transaction. If at the same time the, an open transaction is positive at that level, it will cash the, that transaction in or close that transaction at a positive balance. So I'm just going to take you through an example of some trading to give you an idea of what happens. Now, let's say the trader starts here and the trader decides to go into a sell direction on this grid. The price goes up and hits the grid level. The EA will then open a sell transaction. It then goes up to the next level. There is no positive transaction, so it then just opens a new sell transaction. The price then moves down back to the to, to a previous grid level, and that sell transaction goes positive. Now that dotted line means that the sell transaction was closed and cashed in at that level. So now we only have that transaction open. So the price goes on, hits that level again, and because that sell transaction has been closed, we open a new sell transaction, and that then remains open. The price then moves on and goes to the next grid level, and another sell is open. Price moves on and, and hits another the grid level, and another sell transaction is opened. It then moves up and hits another grid level and another sell transaction is opened and it then moves up and hits another grid level and another sell transaction is opened. The price then retraces and goes to the, a previous grid level. That sell is then positive and is cashed in. It then goes even further and that sell then becomes positive and gets cashed in. It then moves up again, but uh, but because that sell was cashed in, a new sell is entered into, and it, the price moves down, and that sell gets cashed in again. It does the same thing again. It goes back to the that grid level, and because those previous cells were cashed in, it opens a new sell transaction. It then moves up, and another sell transaction is opened at the another grid level but the price moves down to the previous grid level and that transaction is cashed in. The price then moves further down and that transaction is then cashed in and moves further down that open transaction is cashed in and it moves further down and that transaction over there is then cashed in. So all we have at this point is an open sell transaction over here, which is basically break even, and then an open sell transaction over here, which is basically minus 100. So what we do then is we add up all the cash in transaction, which is, you just have to add, add up the arrows. So it's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cashed in transactions. Uh, so we have 8 positive deals at 100, that's 800 pips. We have two 
transactions that are open the one is at zero the other one is at minus 100 so the two open transactions are minus 100 pips and therefore your profit over this particular period is 700 pips now bear in mind this trader actually wanted the price to sell and and the price never sold it never actually went positive and uh, although that happened the trader has made a nice gain of 700 pips and that's the wonder of this grid trend multiplier because it's cashing in many times at the same level like there it cashed in twice at that level cashing three times at le that level only once at that level only once at that level and uh, once at that particular level but because of these multiple cash-ins it creates positive results I hope that has given you a good feel of how the system works. You might have to spend a bit of time and just re-watch this section of the video carefully. But the, the big point here is that you can actually go positive even if you have made the wrong assumption regarding the direction in which the mark will move. So a grid train multiplier can be traded in three ways. It can be tra traded by entering a buy and a sell at the same time. And in a previous video, and you'll get a link to that in at the end of the this video, we entered a buy and a sell. But you have to use low volatility currencies when you're using this method. And that can result in a positive transaction. You can also trade in a particular direction and if you get the direction wrong that's great because you will make nice gain but what we're going to look at today is number three which i've already explained is where you enter in a direction and the price goes against your intended direction so even in that case it's possible to generate positive results so you've actually got three chances of generating positive results either buy or sell either choose a, a particular direction and get it right or choose a di particular direction and in many of the cases you will get a positive result coming out so let's look at a case study where this scenario that i've just shown you played out in the physical market so during late April and early June this year, a buy trend was anticipated for the Aussie. Now, a buy trend is not unreasonable because if you look at this support level, very, very strong support level here, there it bounced again. And then as the price came down, it was anticipated that it would bounce and make a double bottom and go up. But the price decided not to do that as it sometimes does. And the buy trading that started there obviously turned into a loss making sell activity so that's exactly what happened here the uh, trader enters a buy act, buy tra a transaction on the grid trend multiplier and the price went down 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 and then slowly slowly moved up and came back to his entry price so he never went positive in this particular area the price was always below his buy entry price so what i'm going to show you is the the ea trading over that particular period now the, the screen is going to get pretty busy when i when i show you this so i'm going to just highlight some of the things that you need to look at while the trading is going on so the first thing that you need to look at is the balance now here's the account level information and the balance on your account is shown over here now this trader only used four hundred dollars so um, uh, at this point when the picture was taken uh, he was nicely positive the equity is actually what you need to really look at because that determines how much is available in your account your account might be positive but because you're carrying losses this equity could go quite a, a long way down so these are the two key numbers we've got to watch as the trading happens the key thing also here is that we are using an account with a leverage of 400 to 1 very important because 
you will see that a lot of open deals get created and you need a lot of margin, uh, margin to finance that. Now, if you're using a highly leveraged account, your margin requirements are less. So the higher you the leverage you, you can have, the better. In fact, I wouldn't trade this method uh, with an account of less than 400 to 1 leverage. Then the other thing you need to look at is here are the open trades. So, so have a look how many open trades are open and uh, that will tell you how much the transaction is going negative because remember these are buy trades and the price is going down. So then at number four here we have our orders now it's basically telling us there are eight orders currently open the loss running on those orders is 150 dollars and you can then look at number five which i which tells you how much you've realized and how many cash ins remember in our previous example how many times have you cashed in it says we've cashed in 24 times we've made a 170 dollars so our 173 dollars is bigger than the loss that we carrying on our open trade so we're actually in profit at the moment so these are the key things that you need to look at then the other key thing that you need to look at is the actual trading and you'll see the trading happening the blue lines are the grids the the green lines are the actual transaction lines and why there's a difference between grid and transaction lines is because of the spreads so we are doing buy buy transactions so when we enter buy transaction on a grid the actual entry is higher than the actual grid line because the spread is incurred on a buy transaction as you do it and uh, and so so but you'll see the grid there the, the the blue lines are the grid and the green lines are the transaction lines and you'll see many transactions being opened but the big point of this whole system is how many times the price visits the same level now just in this small example here you can see there was a buy it got cashed in there was a buy at the same level got cashed in there's a buy that got cashed in at the same level and there's a new open buy that might get cashed in so you'll see lots of and again yeah buy that got cashed in buy that got crashed in so you'll see that the price visits the same price level over and over again and that's what makes this system work so eventually the more it visits the same level over and again it, the more profits get built up and more the less likely it is that you will run into big losses because of this profit reserve that you've built up but you can watch this in action and and obviously there are transactions that stay open for instance that buy over there hasn't been cashed in there's a buy over there so you, you can actually see the buys that haven't been cashed in and uh, are waiting for the price to reach them so let's have a look at the actual trading um, it, it the trading takes uh, quite a long time it's a, uh, it runs over about a 12 minute period so i'm not going to show you all of the trading i'll just show you glimpses as as the trading okay we're going to set up for the test and uh, we're going to be testing the uh, grid trend multiplier the aussie usd we're going to use an every tick basis which is absolutely the most precise method that you can test on and we're going to be testing from the 21st of april which is the start of the period that was mentioned earlier and we're going to go to the 7th of june uh, we're going to be using visual mode so we can see the trading happening the spread is three three and the period is five minutes but it doesn't matter because we are using every tick basis and the transaction will be closed at price levels so the period doesn't really matter okay so we can go straight ahead and start the the testing and i'll do that and we'll start it straight away okay so trade has been opened a buy has been opened uh, the ea has established the grid so the blue lines is are the grid lines and the green lines are the transaction lines we are trading a micro lot and we're using a gap size of 10. Now remember the most important thing to do is to watch this balance. This is the account balance and that is the equity balance. 
and we look at over here to see the open deals there's only one deal open so what I'm going to do is I'm going to accelerate the trading so that you can see it in action also I'm going to decrease the scaling of the chart so that you can see more of the trading as it goes on so now you can see the trading is over here it's going to work its way through there and we can have a look at that then you can see it goes very fast when it's accelerated the number of open deals have increased dramatically uh, there they are um, the trading will come out of the information block pretty soon you can move this information block to the side but I've just left it now what you must notice is that in spite of it being in a downtrend you'll see a lot of cash ins every red block that you see like that is a cash in so here's a downtrend but you'll see in the downtrend there are a lot of red blocks here that get cashed in so uh, that's the great thing about this EA it even cashes in in a trend that isn't going in its favor so the trading is happening quite quickly uh, we already on the 26th of April and uh, let's have a look at what the status is so essentially we've already cashed in 21 trades we've made 160 pips uh, the balance is now nicely positive on our account 400 and almost 20 dollars but the equity is the main thing that we've got to look at because that equity is the important thing if that equity goes to zero or close to zero we will get a margin call and that will be the end of our account so now we are trading against the trend we are buying into a selling trend so expect the equ equity to go pretty low it, it will most probably go as low as a hundred um, uh, dollars so um, let's let's see how this works but as as it's working its way down you'll see it continuously is cashing in positive transactions and those positive transactions get added to the equity and to the account balance and makes those stronger and stronger you can see we've got quite a number of open buys here so our equity is running low it's already in the 200s um, that's quite low but let's just let it run and as you can see it just is opening trades and closing trades as they touch the grid levels they it closes trades that touch the grid levels positively and it opens grid and it opens trades where there are no open trades at that particular level so let's let it, let it run for a while okay now the equity is at the 200 even at the 100 mark and that's quite bad because if as i said if it, it goes um to zero then that's the end of our account our, our account balance is nicely positive but that doesn't matter it's the negative balance that we're carrying that uh, is going to be the one that determines the success of this trading at the moment we've got a carrying a loss of almost 300 dollars and um, we've only made uh, a 60 dollar profit so far so we've got a, a, a lot big loss that we're carrying at the moment but as the trading goes on even in this downturn there's a lot of cashing in that's going on as the price trades sideways it cashes in numerous trades on the same level all the time and that's this what makes the success of this particular technique okay so it's escaped our equity has gone up to into the 300s again so we've escaped the short-term danger that uh, was around earlier and that's looking a lot better in the meantime we've almost cashed in 100 trades 96 trades as you can see we've almost done a 700 pips and uh, our positive balance cashed in is 70. Now, in spite of having a lot of open deals here, uh, our equity has recovered quite nicely and it's almost positive. It's 390, so that's getting quite positive there. And our account balance is going for the 500 level, which means we'll almost be, uh, we will have made a hundred dollars profit so far. But what matters is the equity balance. Now that can still go down quite considerably. Okay, we've reached a level where the equity is now becoming positive. There are fewer open deals. The equity is, is positive and the account ba balance is positive. 
we still got about two weeks of training left yeah but uh, that has improved dramatically uh, so far the uh, we have ca cashed in almost 150 trades and over a thousand pips have been cashed in right now the uh, number of open deals is decreasing quite nicely and uh, we are building up a nice positive equity balance in spite of having and we can actually see how many deals we've got 11 open deals at the moment 12 open deals at the moment and the uh, loss is a 700 pip loss and it jumps around quite severely uh, at about 700 or 70 pip loss but th at this stage these numbers change quite dramatically because of the large number of open deals just the smallest move downwards will increase the loss a lot and uh, just the smallest movement upwards will increase the will increase the profits quite a lot interesting enough the equity is dipping into uh, below 400 which is a loss there we are it's below 400 which is a loss level and uh, so even at this stage we but we do have a huge number of open deals and there we go it's going quite quite a lot lower it is still cashing in treme tremendously so let's see how this ends up yeah the number of open deals have decreased now which is easing the danger on on a low equity number and we are continuously cashing in we almost at 200 transactions that have been cashed in remember this is only a six week period so uh, 200 cashed in transactions is quite substantial okay we're in june now and uh, we've only got a few more days of trading left there's still a lot of cashing in happening it is going down a little bit but uh, the the danger is over and that's what happens is the cashed in deals create quite a big buffer for uh, to support any uh, let's say sales trends that might occur now yes we've really had made a major improvement here our number of open deals have decreased dramatically and you can see our account balance and our equity are starting to come closer and closer together okay we've uh, reached the end of our run and let's have a look at what's happened so our, our account balance is $580 we started with 400 so that's a return of 45 percent um, the pips we've generated 1700 pips and uh, a profit of 1170 dollars and we've made a positive swap sometimes you can have a negative swap we've made a positive swap that's why the account balance is higher than 170. there are no there are two open trades and they have a loss of $22 which has been taken into account in the balance. So I hope you found that interesting to see how the trans the EA worked and how it made a profit in spite of trading the wrong way and spending most of its life with a huge amount of trades facing the wrong direction. Now I hope you found that interesting over this period almost 1800 pips were generated so that's quite a lot of pips um, the account started with 400 dollars it made a profit of eight, uh, 187 dollars now that's a hundred that's a 45 percent return on money so that's quite that's not to be scoffed at unfortunately it did have a big drawdown because that's the nature of this particular uh, trading method is that it allows you to make profits on uh, when the price doesn't go in your intended direction so you must incur drawdowns now the short positions for instance there were no short positions because we only bought but the long positions had a 99% success rate there were over 243 trades successful in a row then the last two trades and that's basically when we ended this this activity there were only two 
unsuccessful trades and they were very small. And here you can see the uh, the account balance as it steadily, as it's cashing in, it steadily, steadily just goes up in a straight line. But the equity balance, which is the important one, goes down, down, down and uh, sometimes gets, now this looks quite dangerous, but it's not as dangerous. Uh, it's it, There's still about a hundred and twenty dollars in the account at this particular point but it, these are the drawdown periods that get um, experience and then sooner or later what happens is that the um, the equity starts meeting up with the account balance like over there went again and then it's sort of when the the transaction ended here it met up quite nicely with the account balance and that's why the loss on the open trades was quite small but here's an ex a, a, a good view of what happened in the test that you've just looked at and here's a printout of the actual account that that was running uh, and you can see that each deal only made about 70 cents because the guy was trading with 400 dollars uh, so so and he's only using a micro lot so very small gains it all added up to a 45 percent gain on his account and you can see and then sometimes there are bigger gains because over weekends and things like that there are a little bit of the gaps that occur and the ea will cash in on those fortunate gaps and here are the two small losses that were made right at the end when this exercise was ended so there's the new account balance uh, started at 400 ended at that and it's, a, it's about a six week trading period and clearly this is a reconstructed account so we've actually run it through the strategy tester to reconstruct it to show you the effect of the grid trend multiplier working when the price goes against the trader now, if you'd like some more information about the grid trend multiplier, this EA has been around for years, so it's stood the test of time, and you can trade it in so many different ways. Here is the link to the grid trend multiplier, and as you can see, you can use a hedging approach, or you can trade in a specific direction. Now, if you as a YouTube subscriber, if you are interested in purchasing the Grid Trend Multiplier, I can arrange a 50% discount for you as one of my subscribers. So please do that. You can buy the EA at full price. Send me an email at alex at expertforex.com and I will refund you your 50% after I've checked that you are in fact a YouTube subscriber. So you can get this EA at a 50% discount. Now I hope you found this video interesting and if you've liked the video please give it a like on YouTube. If you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and once you subscribe please click on the bell to be notified of any new videos that I make regarding Forex. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.